It's Broadway Backstage Fall Preview with hosts Michelle Charlesworth and Zachary Quinto. Fall in New York has been glorious, and what makes it even better is a great new season on Broadway. I'm Michelle Charlesworth, and I am psyched to be joined by Zachary Quinto, mm -hmm. who is currently killing it in the Glass Menagerie. Killing Welcome. It. Thank Glad you. to I'm have you here. To be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to get to tell people how much exciting stuff is on Broadway. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So, Star Trek II was a huge summer hit. Uh, you had an Emmy nomination. Congratulations. Thank you. For American Horror Story. And you're the executive producer of a new Robert Redford film, All is Lost. So why in the world take on the demands of a Broadway show as well? Well, I feel like I had to round out my, uh, my portfolio. Uh, I started in theater when I was a kid. That's how I learned to act. And it's the thing that I've always wanted to come back to. And so it's special, it's unique, and it's something that, that brings a whole different level of satisfaction and creative fulfillment. I love film and television and obviously plan to keep working in... in those mediums, but uh, but for me, there's something really special about the theaters. And I hope that Mr. O'Connor is not too good looking. As a matter of fact, he isn't. His face is covered with freckles. He's got a very large nose. He's not right down homely. No, I wouldn't say right down homely. Medium homely, I'd say. <laughs> it's a very underestimated play. People think they know it. People tend to feel like it's a little claustrophobic and a little dusty and our director John Tiffany really unlocked the play. There's no walls, there's no doors, it's, uh, it's a very sort of open landscape and I think as a result the relationships between the characters really take on a new life. Well it is truly a wonderful season for dramas and it's also a great opportunity for audiences to rediscover the bard himself, Shakespeare. Costumes in a show like Twelfth Night go a long way in transporting theatergoers to another world, but they can be wildly expensive. Mm -mm. The Theater Development Fund, the nonprofit organization known primarily for the TKTS booth, funds the costume collection. Based in the Kaufman Astoria Film Studio, it's a lifesaver for low budget productions, and it's also probably the most outrageous closet you've ever seen. There are tours of the costume collection available by appointment. Check out their link on our website, 7 Online slash Broadway. And up next, a twist on the musical experience. The huge success of jukebox musicals like Jersey Boys has paved the way for other big music acts to present their hits on the Great White Way. Sometimes these productions don't have a dramatic plot line to speak of, but they sure do pack a musical punch. Like most professional athletes, dancers only have so many years to shine in the spotlight. This past June, a special Tony was awarded to an organization called Career Transition for Dancers, or CTFD. Broadway veteran and professional dancer Charlie Williams checks it out. So have you ever had to dance for a role? Uh, I've had to move in a rhythmic fashion, but <laughs> that's about as close to dancing as I feel like I... That's it? Yeah, pretty much. But you do everything! <laughs> well, I have, to, I have to work on that one for you. Just that one. Next All time right. I come back. Taking on a role in a Broadway show is daunting enough, but playing multiple roles in multiple productions at the same time? Whew! It's called repertory when two or more shows are presented in rotation by the same acting company, and it takes very skilled actors to pull it off. So the characters in First Date may be looking for love, but there are other Broadway couples who have found it both on stage and off. Case in point, real-life marrieds Daniel Craig and Rachel Weisz portray husband and wife in the drama Betrayal. But they're not the only ones playing house on stage. Good for them. That's a lot of talent for one house. Coming up, the return of Mary Louise Parker and Billy Crystal. Was scary. We thought the Russians were... As the days get colder, snapping up a ticket to a Broadway show is an even more appealing idea. And that's a little easier once again with the recent reopening of the TKTS booth at the South Street Seaport. It had been closed for nearly a year due to Superstorm Sandy. And there's also good news for theater-loving kids. And we are so glad that Broadway is a part of our world. I want to thank Zachary Quinto for joining us. And be sure to see him in the Glass Menagerie now through February 23rd. Get there. Thank you, Michelle. I had a great time. Did you have and fun? Yeah. It's fun, right? Time. Not bad. <laughs> Go see some theater. Absolutely. <laughs>